What I'm about to show you guys today is a really awesome machine. It's pretty big and uses quite a few resources, but it's also completely hidden under the ground. In my opinion, it's well worth it to build. <laughs> What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this pop-up block swapper. Now, what this does, and this is my best way to describe this, is actually a lot easier to see exactly what it is than it is to describe it. What this does is it takes this crafting table, pulls it under the ground, swaps it for another block, in my case it's a furnace, and then pops the furnace up, and if I press the button again, I'll do the exact same thing in reverse. I'll take the furnace down, swap it out, and then the crafting table will come up. And obviously, it doesn't have to be crafting table and the furnace. It can be pretty much whatever you want it to be. So if I go ahead and press this button, as you can see, it does exactly as I said it does. The crafting table went down, and now we have a furnace in its place. So if I press the button again, it does the exact same thing, and we get our crafting table back. Now, this thing was actually an absolute pain to act to, to get to work the way I wanted to. It took me uh, two hours and one or two complete rebuilds just to get it to work exactly the way I wanted to. Now, as you can tell, there's no redstone exposed out the front apart from the button. You obviously need an input uh, that's visible. <laughs> and if we go around to the back, there's absolutely no redstone exposed out the back. This is... 100% hidden. You can put this pretty much anywhere and no one is even going to know. So, now that you know what it is and what it does, let's go ahead and build it. Now, in order to build your pop-up block swapper, you're going to need a 5x4 area and you're going to need to dig down 5 blocks. So, it is a bit of a massive hole, I have to admit. Now, this grant block right here is the exact spot of which your blocks are going to be popping up from. Now the resources are all inside of this chest as they always are, but I must warn you there are a lot of resources inside of this chest, so if you do want to build this in survival, you're going to have to do quite a bit of resource gathering. So the resources that we have inside of this chest are 16 building blocks, 3 redstone dust, 3 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone comparators, 5 redstone torches, 4 sticky pistons, 2 droppers, 6 hoppers, 1 button, and then two blocks that you're going to be using to swap things around. I'm going to be using a crafting table and a furnace. You're going to need four of pretty much any item. This is just simply to activate the comparators. That's all they are simply doing is activating the comparators. So it doesn't really matter what these four items are. And then I highly recommend that you get yourself a staircase block or any transparent block that looks like what you're building with because um the reason why this is uh here is not because it's required but i highly recommend using this to hide up your red so you're going to see what exactly i mean when we get there now to get things started go ahead and go to where the granite block is or at least in this tutorial go ahead and place a block right down there go ahead and get out your sticky pistons and place two facing up just like this so just like that we've got two one on top of the other Go ahead and go to this side and place a sticky piston facing in this direction. Go to the opposite side, place a sticky piston facing in this direction. Now what you want to do is go ahead and take out your redstone dust. Place a piece of redstone dust right here. Place a block up behind it. Place a block on top of it. Go ahead and place a repeater facing in this direction. Leave it at one tick. Go ahead and place a repeater right here. Set this to four ticks. Go ahead and place a block right here. Uh, actually, up one. My bad. Um, place one right there. Go ahead and place one directly above that repeater. Now, you want to place a block up just like this. Then, you also want to go ahead and place a block over just like this. Go ahead and break these two blocks like that. Go ahead and place a piece of redstone dust right here. Go ahead and place a repeater right here. Place redstone dust on top of this block. Place a block on top of the redstone dust. Go ahead and place your button right here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and go down to the bottom. Go ahead and get out your redstone torches. You're going to place a redstone torch right here. You're going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Redstone torch right here. Go ahead and get out your droppers. Go ahead and place a dropper facing up in this corner. And how on earth did I miss that? There we go. 
Now, that's exactly where you want the dropper to be, and you want to do the exact same thing on the other side so it's facing upward. Go ahead and take out your hoppers, go ahead and crouch down, because if you don't, you're going to go into the droppers and throw crouch down, place a hopper going down into the dropper. This will create your hopper dropper moss stable circuit. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Go ahead and place a block down next to your dropper on both sides. Go ahead and turn around, place a comparator facing out of the hopper again on both sides. Go ahead and place a block in front of your comparator, so a block right here, place a block right here. Go ahead and place a redstone torch on top, place a redstone torch off the side like this. Same thing on this side, redstone torch on top, redstone torch off the side. Go ahead and place a block above this redstone torch right here, and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, place a red block on top of the redstone torch right there. Now what you want to do is go ahead and place a block right here. So it's one block below and one block behind your sticky piston. Do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to place down a temporary block right here. Go ahead and take out your hoppers once again. Place it so it's going into this block right here. So if you take a look, you come down inside of it, you can see it's going into this block. You can go ahead and break this temporary block. Go ahead, come to this side. Crouch down again, otherwise you're going to go into the inventory. Place down a hopper going in this direction. So if we take a look, these two hoppers are now facing into one another. Now you want to repeat the exact same process again on the other side. Temporary block. Go ahead and place down a hopper going down into this block. You can break your temporary block. Come to this side. Crouch down. Place a hopper so that the two are facing into one another. Go ahead and place a comparator down right here, and place a comparator down right here. And now what you want to do is go ahead and go into the inventories of your blocks and start placing in your items. So go into this dropper right here, go ahead and place in one of your items. That will turn it into your hopper dropper moss stable circuit. Do the exact same thing on the other side. So go ahead and place down your item right inside the dropper. Now this is very important to understand that you are doing this correctly because if you don't do this correctly it is not going to work correctly. What you want to do is go ahead and place down, actually you know what before I go ahead and do that let me go ahead and pull out the blocks of which I'm going to swap and let me go ahead and do that first. So I'm going to take and put my crafting table down right here and I'm going to go ahead and take my furnace and place it down right here. These are obviously going to be the blocks of which are going to be swapped. Now let's actually go ahead and do our last two items. So it's very important that you do this correctly, otherwise it is not going to work. So go into the hopper on one side. It doesn't matter which side you choose, but it does matter that you do both sides uh, different from each other. Go into the hopper right here. Go ahead and make sure it's next to the comparator. Again, just as I mentioned, it doesn't matter which of the two sides that you do it on. Go ahead and place an item inside of this. Bell extend that piston. Now what you want to do is on the opposite side, make sure that you do this exactly the way I'm doing it. You can obviously, as I mentioned twice already, in either direction you want this side can be uh, the other way around, but you have to make sure you do this exactly as I'm doing. Go into the hopper that is not directly next to the comparator. Go ahead and place in your item. As you can tell, this comparator is not currently on. That is exactly what you want. You will make sure one comparator is always on and one comparator is always off. That is exactly the way you want it to work. Now what you want to do is take out your redstone torch, go ahead and place it off the back right here and that will activate the entire thing. Now the reason why I said to do this redstone torch last is so that when you place it down it automatically pops up your first block just like that. And that's the entire circuit all completely done. So if we go ahead and test this, go ahead and press this button, it will pull it down, swap out the block and the second block will come up, press the button again, and it'll come back up. And as you can tell, one comparator is on, one comparator is off, 
you press this button. Now it's the other way around. This comparator is on and this comparator is off. You want to make sure that you're doing it exactly that way because otherwise it is going to end up breaking your circuit. And other than that, your circuit is actually all completely done. Now all you need to do is go ahead and clean it up a bit. So one thing you can go ahead and do, actually now I just realized this is where you're going to use your staircase. What you want to do is you want to come to the back, place a staircase right here. Now the reason why it's going to do this is because if we go ahead and let's go ahead and clean this up just a little bit so it looks nice. So let's go ahead and add in our flooring and there you go. So here's the reason why we want this staircase. If we go ahead and press this button right here, as you can see, you can see the redstone out the back. If you go ahead and place your stair um, coming up, it goes above this redstone torch and next to this extended piston, you place a stair like this. This is going to cover everything up so you can no longer see the redstone. The reason why it has to be a stair is because it is a transparent block. If it's a full block, if you put a full block there then what's going to happen is this is going to turn into a redstone torch burnout clock and it's going to break the circuit so make sure whatever you put there it is a transparent block that's exactly why we are using the staircase but other than that you're actually completely done so actually let me go ahead and finish it off and as you can tell if I go ahead and start placing in these locks it is now 100% hidden underneath the ground so you cannot see any of the red zones. Let me go ahead and extend this up a little bit. There we go. And that is it. You are now completely done. Now I have another one of the machines uh, built right here just to kind of explain exactly what all is going on while this circuit is working because it all happens so fast. I'm going to do my very best to explain exactly what happens and in what or so the first thing that's going to happen when you press this button that is going to end up activating this redstone dust which will turn off this redstone torch what that's going to do is activate this center circuit this center circuit is a double piston extender that's exactly what it is so what's going to happen is first off that redstone torch is going to turn off which is going to retract this piston then what's going to happen, the redstone is going to redirect down to this repeater. This piston is going to retract, pulling this piston down. This piston is going to be where this piston arm is currently right now. Then later, what's going to happen is this 4-tick delay repeater is going to be still active, which is going to cause this piston, which is now there, to extend, and that's going to go off, and it's going to retract. That's going to end up pulling this block all the way down to the bottom. That's the first part of the circuit. The second part of the circuit is that when this repeater goes off, this redstone dust will go off, which means these two redstone torches will turn on. That will activate both of these hopper dropper moss stable circuits. Basically what's happening is an item is going to be going from the dropper into the hopper. The hopper is going to put it back down into the dropper ready to go once again, which means this comparator is going to be on for a short amount of time. This comparator, and it's obviously the exact same thing on the other side, this comparator is going to turn off these two redstone torches off at the exact same time. What these redstone torches are doing is locking these two hoppers. So when this comparator turns on, these torches are going to turn off. The item is going to travel between these two hoppers once and then once the item travels back down into the dropper, the comparator will obviously turn back off. The torches will turn back on and lock the hoppers once again and the item will only travel once. Now as far as this is concerned, well obviously this is fairly obvious. Because there's an item inside of this hopper, this comparator is on, therefore this piston is extended. Same on the other side. This comparator is off because the item is inside of this hopper. Therefore, this piston is retracted. And that's the exact reason why it's working the way it is. So, I hope that made sense. But if we go ahead and watch this entire thing in action, it does exactly as I tell it to. So, it pulls it down and then it swaps it over. So, if I go ahead and press this button, you're going to see 
It's kind of hard to see because it's so fast, but this comparator was on for a short amount of time. These torches were off that allowed the items inside the hoppers to travel between one another, thus giving us the switching effect. And it's actually, I hope that made sense. I tried to explain that as best I can. I know there was a lot of words involved, but yeah, that's exactly what is happening. As you can tell, obviously I don't have the series because I wanted the full extent of the uh, redstone exposed. Now, there will be a world download in the description if you guys want to check this out for yourself, but that's actually going to have to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Well, more than make sure that subscribe for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zeus News. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later. <laughs>